Welcome to Williams Family RV, uh, showcasing one of our finest motorhomes here. It's the uh, Renegade Valencia. Uh, Renegade's been building Super C's for about 20 plus years. They've been doing it for race car, NASCAR, motocross, that kind of thing. Uh, so they've been in the million, two million, two and a half million dollars. If you ever watch a NASCAR race, you'll see the infield scattered with these. They're all over the place. Uh, a few years ago, they started developing uh, coaches for the Dominican the, uh, Republic, so we can go camping and RVing in style. The Super C uh, version of this has become a pretty, um, pretty mainstream product. There's a lot of uh, a lot of manufacturers out there that have them. Uh, most all the manufacturers have been building them, but the Renegade series itself is the elite, the best of the best, if you will, the best of the built. Uh, and there's a lot of things, a lot of segments that I could go into the way they're built, but the way the, the construction on the floors, the construction of the sidewalls, they've been doing it all the same for about 20 years. Whether it's in a $250,000 motor home or a $2 million motor home, the construction is all the same. Yeah, we got the big cap on the front, very stylish. They use the, the uh, Altolo wheels. It's got the hard awnings, all the type of awnings, full body multiple slides and on the ex exterior you've got nice big uh, cargo bins comes with an air pack pod for the motor home so if you've got to pump up bike tires and that type of thing you a lot of the different things but the other thing with the renegade series itself is they got these big heavy duty hinges and they got these double heavy duty latches uh which ensure a nice tight seal, big bulb seal around there. It keeps all the dust, dirt, and debris out of your compartments. All nicely fitted all the way around the coach. Got the Gerard awnings over the slide outs, uh, along with over the patio area. Full body paint, tested paint. Back here, we've got more storage. There's a, a, gas, a gas valve, so you want to hook up an exterior barbecue or something like that. Just more storage back here. And it's all about the diesel the segment allows you to have more storage on the exterior of the coach. 10% perhaps the gas coach. Plus they have more carrying capacity, which is what this segment here, I think you have 12,000 pounds of carrying capacity where a lot of the competition has 3,500 to 5,000 pounds. When they're towing those big race cars, let's see back here, 12,000 pound hitch your plug, got your backup lights, all LED lights, backup camera, stylish rear cap, stylish front cap, so it's got caps on both ends. Come around here, this is where your power cord is, and it's on a power wheel. And this is your onboard power supply, so if you're sitting in the pits at a NASCAR race or you're out in the desert, you're doing some motor cross, you got your own and do some power supply. Exhaust comes out here. It's all air ride suspension. This is your utility compartment where you hook up to your sewer, your water, all of your components, your water filters in there. And there's your uh, holding tanks there, and they go out the bottom. That's where you drain your water, drain your uh, black water tanks are. Nice big slide, flush mounted windows for stylish look, and they tilt out so it, it, it torques out to give you uh, ventilation on a rainy day. And then you just have more compartments back up under here. That's where all your uh, batteries are for your onboard power supply. Nice thing is you can fuel it from either side. You have fuel tanks on both sides. Um, nice heavy duty leather components chairs that tilt they've got a multiple variations so it's very comfortable and you get comfortable in the cockpit for those long drives a lot of people like the super c segment because you can get in and out of the coach where in a class a motor home you only have one door and it's the entry door here you have three doors and it's just like driving a car and people don't aren't intimidated by this but they feel like they're driving a truck and they sit up above everything you got great panoramic view the other thing that's nice about these types of coaches, let me flip over to the other side real quick. When it comes to maintenance, you can flip the lid and you get right at the engine. We're in a class A motorhome, it's buried under the closet and under the bed, you gotta remove all that. And you got greasy technicians climbing around in your coach 
Here, if you got engine work or transmission work, it's all done under the hood. They never even occupy the coach unless you invite them in for a drink. And the other thing about it is this chassis, freight wire chassis, it's used in many, many commercial applications. You can utilize it anywhere in the nation and in Canada. There's multiple places that you can take it to. It's not like you have to take it to a renegade dealer. You can take it to any uh, freight liner dealer for the chassis work. Let's take a look on the inside. The links is our, uh, they have the uh, two segments below this, which is like the Vienna which is behind us there. And then we have a Veracruz, uh, which it's hard to get chassis for. That's like on the Ford F550 chassis. And uh, then they move into the freight liners. And where we go with it, we carry the Valencia, the Verona, the Verona LE, and then the uh, Explorer. So we got uh, pretty, pretty good lines. Uh, the Coming on the inside here, um, very stylish very residential, um, very custom. It's kind of like walking into a custom home. It's not like a cookie cutter. Nice hidden door latches, metal guides to hold the doors open. So nice positive latch, good solid wood cabinetry throughout. Nice plush leather, uh, leather feel. Everything's synthetic nowadays, right? Make believe. Um, got a nice dinette that makes into a bed. This folds out into a bed. This is what they call a trifold. And then up above here, uh, you've got your overhead bed. So you got grandkids or other people going with you. So you get a couple of children, a couple of adults, a couple of children. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight people can sleep pretty easily. Throw. In the old days, we used to sleep on the floor when we were kids, right? Up here, if they sleep up here, they can close the window off. They got their own, they can close this off. They have their own privacy and they even all have their own TV. So you could be watching TV or playing video games there. And mom and dad could be out here watching uh, watching the race with a sound bar built into it. All solid surface countertops, bottom and plenty of storage underneath here. Even room for your trash can. That's been a, a big factor in a, in a lot of coaches is people don't know where to put the trash can because there's no room under here. Well, we've got plenty of room under here. Again, all solid, solid wood cabinetry, hidden latches, just like a custom home, solid surface countertop. The uh, Up here, you have all of your electronics, like your satellite dish would go up there, your satellite receiver, and you can go either way. You can go direct or um, dish. It's set up for both. I just have to make a couple of adjustments on the sit on the roof, and it'll feed all the TVs as far as which ones you want to, what you want you want to play on. I think you got to have a receiver dedicated to this TV, and that plays the outside TV. And there's another receiver you can put in the bedroom for the bedroom TV. And then that's usually hooked up to a TV antenna or a DVD player, or uh, you know, a lot of kids hook up their Nintendo switches and that kind of stuff. Lots of, again, lots of storage. That's where all your breakers are. That's where all your remotes are. These drawers come all the way out. They're all stainless steel, full metal guides. And they're solid wood drawers. Microwave convection. I live in an RV myself most of the time. And this convection oven, once you get to feel for it, I mean, I made pizza in it last night. I'll make pizza in it last night. It took me about half the time. $12 in about 15 minutes and I had pizza. <laughs> Uh, this right here is a, kind of the onboard brain, if you will. You can operate your slides. Uh, tells you the Renegade. You can turn all the lights off and on. You tell you where your tank's uh, supply is. Turn your water pump on or off. Uh, tells you the temperature in here right now. It's kind of humid today. Start and stop your generator from here. You can set up your automatic gen set from here. And you can also turn your satellite dish on from here. But uh, I mean, there's just many, many segments you can monitor what the what the bow, the batteries are doing. Turn your inverter on and off. You can control independent lights, or you can control them all. Um, you can control your thermostats, uh, heat pumps. There's two heat pumps in the ceiling, which is really nice, and the furnace. So those heat pumps will take the chill off in um, in the winter months without having to fire up the propane system. Uh, and then here's your bathroom vents and your kitchen vents. 
your slide outs, how you operate your slides, how to level the coach, and then just di simple diagnostics way over my head. <laughs> but it's there if you need it. You can actually, if there's ever a fault in the system, they can come to this diagnostic and it'll isolate the fault. So instead of a technician going through the entire coach trying looking for something that's broken, he can isolate it with this panel right here. So very, very nice. Same thing with the freight winder. There's a plug in there. They can plug it in and computerize. They can check for any faults in the system, which is really nice. Solid flooring all the way through. And this is always a big bonus. Some people prefer storage, some people prefer, prefer washers and dryers. Um, in my fifth well, I have a single where it's all in one. I never use the dryer, they're not that efficient. But this system here is just like having it in your residential apartment. So you can want to do laundry on a Sunday afternoon while you're watching the races. Independent, isolated electric fridge. I don't know how big this one is, but it's huge. You can, uh, you can supply in a, a small army of food with that. And it uh, pulls off of the inverter. People, some say, some say well, it's going to wear my batteries down. No, it, it really won't. They don't draw that much, and they're heavily um, insulated. So once they're cold, they stay cold. You could literally unplug it, and it's a couple days from now, as long as you're not opening and shutting the door, it'll still be cold. But the um, the inverter maintains it and keeps it cold, and the batteries keep it cold, and the solar panel keeps the batteries charged. If you're driving down the road, it charges your batteries. If you're running your generator, it's charging your batteries. And if you're plugged into power, you're charging your batteries. So you got multiple sources of power input to ensure that you have a long-lasting and uh, you have battery power for as long as you need it. All stylish wall boards. Now here's a, this other um, sleeping area here. You've got USB ports. You know, everybody's got a USB these days. It's even got the new iPhone jack. I can't remember what they call it, but you know, if you have a new iPhone, there's the jack. So you can plug in your Nintendo, you got your little TV monitors. Jack and Jill here, um, he's got his, she's got hers. I'm assuming she gets the top bump. Or you can turn this into storage if you don't have the need for additional sleeping space. I've seen people put wardrobe bars up in here and hang clothes. I've seen people take these out and turn it into a fly, fly station, tying, fly, tying flies. Nice big bathroom, stylish power roof vent. Also, it's got the touch, soft touch ceiling all the way through. These are panels that are uh, not only is it soft to the touch, but it's, it's, uh, it's also an insulator against heat and cold as well as sound. Those are just little things that they come with, uh, come up with over the years. Nice big shower, and it's got uh, the skylight, smoke skylight, so you can't, nobody's going to see a shower. And then you got this removable head, so you can wash your feet, wash your back, what have you. Very nice setup, solid too, like a residential. It's got an electric toilet, so you don't have to, you don't have to put the foot pedal down. You can just push a button, and it'll flush itself. That's an upgrade. This fan, uh, it's got a rain sensor on it, and it's controlled from in here, and also the panel that's out front. Remember the, the big panel that controls everything, the brain, multiplex wiring, that covers it all. We also have this panel here, so if that center door is closed off, uh, and you're closed, so if you're isolated back here, and you don't want to go out there and disturb your company, or you don't have any clothes on, and you just don't want to go out there, you have a second panel in here to control everything. And you got the big doors that slide over and latch, so it's a solid core door, so it gives you total privacy here. And there's a solid core door there that gives this area total privacy. So they could be in here playing video games while you're out watching movies or what have you. Second TV, there's another TV back here. Yeah, I know, you're thinking, God, how many TVs you got? Well, you got one in the front bedroom area, you got one in the living room, you have two in the bunk area, you got one in the bedroom, and one outside. That's a bunch of TVs, you know. They don't spare any aspects. So you got your shirt wardrobes and your drawers that go all the way back. Again, stainless steel, solid wood doors, drawers. And then here is where you put your satellite, your second satellite receiver or your hopper, if you will, if you're familiar with that. And then if you put in a DVD or anything like that, it's all pre-wired. All you do is plug it in 
hit the jack and select it on the screen what you what, what input you want, whether you want satellite or TV antenna or what have you. King size bed, lots of overhead storage overhead, second AC. Uh, you can use this as a ducted system and use the vents, or you can actually open it up and you can dump the air straight down onto the bed area so it cools this area quicker and faster. Or if somebody out there is saying, hey, we're too hot, well, then you can close those off and force more air out there. And then you've got a little bit of storage under here, and then your water tank, which is up inside the coach, up over the rear axle, so it kind of helps balance everything out, and you don't have to worry about it freezing in the wintertime. Just keep, them, keep everything on. You got electrical outlets on both sides, uh, and that will also have the new uh, Apple ports. But just a fine piece of machinery. Be something that uh, give you many, many, many years of travel-free enjoyment.